All right, we're on to project number two for Saturday A2 service stop. Um, this machine has bad bearings in the deck lift shaft. So we're going to pull the deck lift shaft, we're going to get some new bearings on and throw it back in. Uh, hopefully this is a smooth and easy process. Uh, sometimes things get in the way. We're about to find out. You guys weren't looking, but I went ahead and put this thing down at uh, 270, setting new pins on some blocks. Next step is going to be putting a piece of all thread rod. Oh, bearing gravity, huh? <laughs> uh, putting a piece of all thread rod through the rake spring tube so that we can secure it and it doesn't go boing because that would be bad why is this not working because I'm doing it the wrong way oh, see how much easier that was So I'm going to hop down around front and I'm going to compress the rake shaft with a foot. Compress this spring tube a little bit and uh, reposition the nut so I don't have any spring tension all between the uh, rake shaft and our deck lift shaft. I'm just going to go in there. I don't know, quarter inch, a little more. Sometimes more is better. Maybe a half inch for compression. That seems good. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. Our next step is going to be taking off the bolt on the rear side of the spring tube. Um trying to think. I don't remember what sizes these are. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh, probably 5 eighths. We'll find out. Nope, that one is either way oversized or like 7 eighths and 3 quarters or something goofy here. Yeah, three quarters there. Mm, seven eighths is a little big. Is it three quarters both sides? It looks oversized. Yeah, weird. Um, what comes between a three quarter inch wrench and a seven eighths inch wrench? Uh, <laughs> one that I don't have. That's what size it is crazy. Well, oh, this is going to work. Speed wrenches to the rescue. <clears throat> so this bolt has to come out. Hopefully this thing will separate easily. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, huh. Interesting. Copper washer right there. That's not normal. Well, then again. What is normal anyways? That came off pretty easy. Alright. In this case, the, uh, the, the bushing came out with the bolt. That's not awesome. Uh, the bushing is supposed to be like a press fit in there. Not today. All right, let's hop down. Let's take our deck cables off. Let's take our scissor cables off. Let's remove our pin. Uh, stabilizers, bearing rod caps, all that good stuff. Okay, we got moving deck and scissor cable off. 
Uh, the next step, where are we at? I can't see. I got a flashlight in the way. That pin right there needs to come out. Uh, hopefully it's not too much of a struggle. Let's see if I can get this snap ring off. Um, usually these are spiral looks. And I can just spin them off real easy. This one has snap rings on it. So I gotta get this thing turned around somewhere where I can see what I'm doing. Not there yet. There we go. I can at least see it. Super easy. Spiral X would have been easier. That just yes, flung out the into the abyss. In the Fun fact: I just noticed that the uh, turret cross shaft here is uh, completely missing, and I couldn't get this pin out. So I'm going to try a different way. It's it's stuck in there. Um, not, not a good day so far, guys. Oh boy, that was a struggle. She's out. Alright, next step is a restricted drop bracket. So let's go ahead and undo these. Oh, the bolts weren't very tight. That's never a good sign. So yeah, I don't know what Dave was doing last night. Ray said he found 42 bubble balls in the upper end. All right, next step is going to be the detector rod. We're going to take out the X washer, pop the pin, maybe, please, dang it, always, always difficult, well, do I have a punch? That'll work. Got it. All right, move down to the deck post bearing caps. Here's my Allen wrench. We're gonna remove wrong size top and bottom screws here. Again, wrong size. Um, you guys didn't see, but the uh, stabilizer rods. Jam nuts got broken free and the stabilizer rods got threaded and unthreaded until I found kind of a neutral flippy floppy point. This may not work. Might need. That works. Limited uh, swing room. Let's switch over to... Where did they go? Are they on top of the turret? Yes, they are. Switch over to these. Good. I can't see what I'm doing. Ah, oh, no, fail. What size was that? Good Lord! Why? Why is this so difficult? Yeah, I got a little tiny turn out of it. Uh, 
There we go. Struggling. I have to keep turning the camera off too because uh, I am not the only one here in the service aisle area right now. And, uh, people want to have a conversation with me. And uh, I do not want to have a conversation with people. So our deck just dropped. That means our... Uh, we had something wrong with the block. Because this uh, should have been 2x4 in here. Yeah, it slipped a little bit. Can't see where. Well, it is on. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I bet our left to right level was off. Um, I didn't use two by four big pieces. I used little pieces of wood. That's okay. We can. Uh, we'll get that back together. There's one time I was taking these bearing caps off. I didn't put that threaded rod up in the uh, spring tube almost took one of those to the chin at a, a very high rate of speed um, that was the first and only time i ever made that mistake um, and i'm glad i wasn't seriously injured all right i swung you guys around to the 10 pin side i'm gonna take this one out or we're gonna remove it yeah we're not going on a date you're going to remove the two screws on this bearing cap and remove it. I am uh, hopeful that the deck shaft isn't going to shift too much. Oh, different size uh, bolt head in there. Weird. All right, what is this one? Seven thirty seconds. What is the size that I need for the bottom screw? Quarter inch? Yep. Yeah. Mm, oversized. Weird. Well, ah, boy, that was tight. Super tight. All right, this side feels better. I don't have any tension on the threads. I don't expect this one to go boing anywhere. We're getting close to having this thing apart. Um, in the interest of time, um, that's not what I want to do. Kind of on the fence about just doing the one bearing. Um, I don't know. I know that they've asked me to uh, try and, there it goes, try and get this done. Uh, expeditiously and to attempt to work on one more lane after this um, so we'll see what we do I gotta cut you guys because the music's on <laughs> I got you guys on deck lift shaft cam you guys are attached to the deck lift shaft let's uh, see if you guys can uh, spot the bad bearing Yuck. All right, we're going to get that bearing out. What we need to do, swing you guys over. Uh, we're going to take out these two bolts for the accelerator support on this lane and the, op the lane next to us, the other lane of this pair. And uh, we're going to drop this accelerator right up here. This accelerator top is going to go down. That's going to give us uh, access to the bolt head on the frame. Uh, we're going to pull that off. We are going to swing the deck shaft rearward uh, that way. <laughs> we're going to get the broken bolt out. Or not the broken bolt, but the bolt broken bearing. I'm having trouble talking. So the broken bearing is going to come out. Uh, we're going to replace it with a new bearing. And then we are going to put everything back together because they want me to work on another lane too as soon as i can 
kind of hard to see, but we've got new bearings in there. I can run the camera again because the pin setter noise drowns out the uh, copyrighted music. So we're going to continue putting things back together. So we've got our deck shaft bolted back in. We're going to rejoin our deck shaft arms to the bearings. Uh, my fat ass bumped against this moving deck and shifted it left about three inches. So we'll get that swung back in. Uh, and then we should be pretty much done. We'll get our uh, detector rod back in. We'll get our pin back in for the deck lift shaft. We'll get our restricted drop bracket bolted back on. And then we'll get our uh, stabilizer rods adjusted and cranked down and, and then we'll be done. All right, we need to get this thing slung back over. A little more. Get our bolts back in. One of these has a quarter inch head, one of these has a seven thirty seconds head. Let's start with the seven thirty seconds because that's what I've got handy. Please go back together. Oh, a little more. What? There we go. Yeah, you guys didn't get to see the, uh, all the fun with getting those bearings changed out. That was um, quite a bit of a struggle. Uh, not something I look forward to doing. was very very not easy I'm dirty I'm sweaty I'm tired I'm uh, a lot of other adjectives right now definitely ready to be done for the day after this uh, kind of kick my ass I've it's so late now this took so much longer than expected that I really don't have time to get to their uh, other big project so that may have to wait until uh, next Saturday all right I switch you guys back over to our uh, oh now I have a bind here now I had to unthread the stabilizer rod to get me a little bigger of a gap. There we go. Bring, bring that stabilizer rod back in. This thing shifted on me before. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to bring the deck up. I might find something to pry under here and wedge it up. Maybe a little crowbar action or something. I'll be back in a sec. All right, I got a crowbar. Not uh, not the preferred method. Just so you guys understand that I understand where are the Allen wrenches? Right here. Need to go over. Hold on. Hold on. Reset. Let's get. Our uh, clamping bolt here loosened up. Let's fit that together a little better before we try and muscle harder than we need to. All right, we're nearly done. Right size Allen wrench. Whoa, whoa. There we go. 
There we go. See if we can get this to fit back together. Right there. Yeah, I am not sure if this pin setter is not uh, leveled on the kickback side to side properly or what exactly is wrong, but we are definitely not level uh, side to side. A little more uh, wiggle room. Get that bottom screw in. There we go. Alright, we can let our let off our crowbar pry. Mm. Tight. Very, very tight. Oops, oops, I got it stuck. Shit. I don't know where my hammer's at. Eh, back it up. Reset. Let's uh, bring in a better Allen wrench. We'll do some real actual tightening. in there. All right, thank you. Yeah. That's how you know it's tight. You gotta make the noise. It's not tight unless you make the noise, right? All right, let's swing you guys around. Let's swing some lights around. I don't know what I'm doing. Fatigue is setting in. Well, I'll get you guys a better. We're gonna move on to the deck lift shaft bracket. It's very loud in here. I apologize for the noise. They, uh, they get pretty busy pretty quick. One bolt coming in. I'm just gonna let that hang there for a sec. While I fiddle around with Allen wrenches. Oh no, push back. Not going to work. Go back together, thank you. All right, let's get those tightened up. Almost, almost. Not too tight. You don't want to go as tight as you can on this. I don't want to break the bolt off in the deck shaft. Um, it just, it wouldn't be good. I think one more half turn. Okay, that's tight. I don't know if you guys want to swing over if you can. No, you can't see. Hold on. All right, deck shaft. Not deck shaft. Good lord. Detector rod. I don't have an X washer for this. That's okay. We will uh, 
come back and put that X washer in. Anytime you guys take a detector rod out, hold on, he, yeah, you still can't see. On the detector rod, you've got some pins that run through it, and there's a bracket up here. You need to make sure that the pins contact the bracket. If you go on top of that bracket, you're going to have a bad day. Your bottom pin goes on the bottom of the bracket. Likewise, there's a pin on top that goes on the top of the bracket. Do not mix those up. Do not get them set up incorrectly. You will be chasing problems forever. I want this. There it goes. There it goes. All right. It's been about two hours. I got a lot of stuff that you guys didn't get to see, but everything's all back together. It was a pretty big struggle today. But we're done. Such a pretty good rack. It got kind of old worn out twisters, so they have a tendency to wobble a little bit. But we're all done, wrapping it up, going home. See you guys later.